Then it's the Congress party leveling big allegations of discrepancies in predator do drone deal that has been signed with the United States of America. The Congress has said that what happened to the Rafal deal is being followed in the predator deal also. They say that India, in fact, as India is paying four times higher the price of what other countries are paying for these drones, there is serious discrepancy in this entire drone deal. Let's take a look at the reaction that's coming in. जो रफेल डील में हुआ वही अब प्रीडेटर ड्रोन्स की खरीद में भी दोहराया जा रहा है जिस ड्रोन को बाकी मुल्क चार गुना कम कीमत में खरीदते हैं उसी ड्रोन को हम 110 मिलियन डॉलर यानी कि 880 करोड़ प्रति ड्रोन 880 करोड़ पर ड्रोन हम खर्च कर रहे हैं और ये कौन से ड्रोन्स हैं अमेरिका में ये वो ड्रोन्स हैं जो आउटडेटेड टेक्नोलॉजी है उस ड्रोन को अब इस्तेमाल अमेरिका नहीं कर रहा उसके स्टोर रूम में पड़े हैं कि साहब ले जाओ Let me bring in my colleague Pallavi on the broadcast for more on this. Uh, Pallavi, the accusation that's been levelled by the Congress Party, Pawan Khaira, they are speaking about the fact that uh, the predator drones, that the, the technology that's been used, that's been bought by India now, are obsolete technology. However, we are being told that this is the latest technology that is at play, where the government has in fact kicked off the acquisition of 31 armed predator drones from US, and this will happen early next month. We'll get uh, Pallavi in just a bit. We seem to have lost that. Link. But uh, this is what the center's deal with the United States of America is. Something that's been hailed in the field of defense. This um, nod was given by the Ministry of Defense to go ahead with this deal. And now what is happening is that the Congress is crying foul over the discrepancies that are coming to fore when it comes to this drone deal. The Congress Party ends up saying that India is paying four times the price. That's what is required. to be paid for these predator drones and they also go ahead and link it with this entire rafale deal what had happened during rafale is being followed with this deal as far as the predator drones are concerned that's the allegation that's been leveled by the congress party remember the government of the center aims to sign the actual contract within this very fiscal and complete the induction of all the remotely piloted aircraft systems in phases in over 6 to 7 years at least that's what the plan is the center will start the formal acquisition process for the 31 weaponized MQ-9B Reaper drones which are also known as the Predator B drones from US in early July the center aims to sign this actual contract uh, within this fiscal like i said and uh, the indic uh, the induction in fact will be complete within over 6 uh, to 7 years The deal for the 31 drones is estimated to cost around 3.5 billion US dollars which is almost to the tune of 29000 crore rupees. Now as per the deal 15 Sea Guardians will be inducted into the Navy, 8 Sky Guardians each will be inducted into the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force and we are also getting to understand as per the Defence Ministry sources that uh, the actionable letter of request for 31 MQ-9B drones will be sent to the US government in the first week of July this remember comes after rajnath singh led defense acquisitions council accorded the acceptance of necessity for this deal on june 15th my colleague pallavi is now with us on the broadcast pallavi even as uh, people were hailing this as one of the major targets when it is about india's defense uh, accomplishments the congress party is crying foul not just about the cost that it is um, coming to as far as india is concerned but also talking about how the technology is obsolete yes and that is which could end up becoming a little bit of a tricky area as far as the congress party is concerned see earlier also if you remember when they were they had question our defense deals whether it was rafal that turned out to be a boomerang moment really on the congress party that closure also came in from the supreme court and also it was a narrative which went wrong or uh, did not really work as far as the last lok sabha elections are concerned but a quick recap on what the congress is stand and not just pavan kheram but many senior congress leaders have been talking and tweeting about 
about it is that a drone deal which has been signed by the Indian government is compromised. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a huge deal which we have given away a large amount of money and it's a sweetheart deal as far as between the government and Americans, for example, is concerned. But politically speaking, will this really resonate on the ground? Will it really work when it comes to national interest, national security? The Congress has always been beaten by the wrong end of the stick. Okay. Also, the fact that, Pallavi, this was uh, something that was sp spoken about in, uh, as far as a highlight of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's trip to the United States of America is concerned. Uh, they had gone on to speak in high volumes as to this particular predator don't drill. When, when the Congress party goes and talks about how America is selling off a technology which they are no, no longer using, how do you think the response is going to come as far as the BJP is also now concerned? Because... Uh, the first week of July is when we are told that the acquisition process and the entire signing is going to begin. See, I'm just going back through precedence in the case mm -hmm. of Rafal also when questions were being raised over uh, why it was not a right deal for India. It was compromised and it was old equipments which were now being imported on how the developed countries mm. actually give away their trash to India at a very, very high price. That mm. was a criticism which came in from the Congress party at that point of time. There was a point-by-point -point rebuttal which came in from Nirmala Sitaraman at that point of time, the government also and even on the floor of the house. Mm. I think that's exactly what the government is going to do. Uh, and they have already been giving out evidence and a defense minister himself leading the uh, flock, so to say, that this is a deal which is actually going to help India. And this is also something which is not, cannot be considered to be compromised. India wants to believe in Atman Nirbhata even as far as the defense sector is concerned. Mm -hmm. But on certain segments, we also need to rely. And But we only import those stuff which is something which immediately India cannot manufacture. Mm -hmm. And there is no compromise as far as defense preparedness is concerned. All our armed forces, the air force, all of them have gone on record to say consistently that India is defense ready vis-a-vis -vis our opponents across the border, whether it's China, whether it's Pakistan. So I think on this point also the government is going to make the same point. Also, Pallavi, the fact that uh, these Reaper drones are the best advanced drone technology that we have in the world, the Congress goes on to claim otherwise. Is there any backing to these claims that they are making? Well, I mean, they, uh, at the press conference, they have a PowerPoint presentation. Mm -hmm. They've come out with evidence to show how many countries, uh, other countries, for example, had refused to buy these kind of equipments from America and how the prime minister goes there. In fact, from day one, uh, uh, the Congress has been very cynical. Whenever that warm welcome has been given to the PM, the Congress has retaliated by saying that they, what India gets this kind of a warm treatment because we swing a deal which suits Americans, which suits these developed countries, and we've come kind of become a Crashing ground. Hmm. Now, the evidence which is being provided by Pawan Khera is something which I think is also going to be used and countered by the BJP. And I guess there would be a press conference possibly later in the day and over the next coming days. And more importantly, during the parliament session, because the Congress plans to raise it during the parliament session as well. So the government certainly is going to put forward the points forcefully hmm. that, you know, every deal which is signed by India is always vetted by our experts, defense experts, for example. They're always vetted. We do not compromise as far as the quality is concerned and certainly as okay. far as the finances are concerned. All right. Thank you so much for that.